Hi, this is James from the CLC. This week, I caught up with this year's three Pivot participants during their residency at Sporable in Sherbrooke, Quebec. This is the first time Pivot has focused on sound art, and I was excited to hear about how it's going. It's opening on April the 14th. That's this Friday, so don't miss it. First up is Sarah Constant. Hello everyone, it's me, James Lowry, Assistant GM for the Canadian League of Composers. I'm here with Sarah Constant, who is one of our Pivot participants for this year, who's currently at residence at Sporable right now. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Thanks, James. How's it going? How's the residency? Um. It's been really wonderful, actually. Um, yeah, I've been here about two weeks. There's about one week left, and then we'll exhibit the works that we've been developing here. Um, but it's just been really amazing to work with the staff here and work with the team and also have access to a gallery space, which is totally new for me. Um, I don't have a studio in Toronto or anything like that. So just having a space to, to work um and to have it be also this beautiful gallery space is like really wonderful so yeah really enjoying it really lovely yeah that's quite so tell tell us a little bit about your background as you say it's not always like there, there's so many different things around sound art some people are be like yeah of course a gallery um that's so normal for me uh but but tell us a little bit about your background where, how you come into this yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like not a gallery space working in those kinds of spaces is not maybe um, normal to me personally in my practice. So my background is primarily as a musician, as a performer. I play the flute uh, and I also make electronic music um, and work mostly in sort of the contemporary classical scene as a flute player and then also a little bit in sort of the free improvised music scene in Toronto. Um, and that's primarily what I do. Um, over the last couple of years, I started getting really interested because I was making flute music and electronic music um, in loudspeakers and instruments and all of the different ways that they can be used. And I kind of got really deep into that research. And that's how I started making sort of little installations and little projects. Um, where I wasn't playing for kind of the first time um, and was sort of setting up situations for these loudspeakers to play instead. Um, and so, yeah, for the past couple of years, I've been getting more into sort of sound installation, multimedia work, and specifically looking um, at creating sort of environments with loudspeakers and different objects and materials. Uh, and that's a part of sort of the work that I'm doing here at Sporable. Um, so the work that I'm doing as part of Pivot is a loudspeaker installation. And I'm working with loudspeaker drivers um, that I've hooked up and encased in different textiles. Um, and I'm using those textiles to kind of impact the sounds that those speakers emit. Um, and kind of playing with that. So yeah, actually my first time working in a kind of gallery space, but it seems very fitting to this particular piece of work and it feels super cool. Yeah. Is, is this a smart question or a dumb question? I guess we'll find out in a moment. Do you, what are you feeling like you're kind of get out of this approach of working with loud speakers in a more sound art context that you kind of weren't finding in um you know the performance contemporary classical music context what what's exciting you about it oh interesting i, I think it, that's a good question but i just have to think about how to answer it um I'm really interested in this idea of how listening can be a form of research, like not only as like, oh, I'm trying to figure out this scientific thing and I need to use listening for that, um, but also as a way of kind of discovering more about ourselves and our perspectives and our surroundings. Um, so I'm really interested in listening in that way and then how it kind of interfaces with like us as listeners and the environment and our bodies. Um, and performing other people's music is definitely a part of that and definitely something that I love to do. Um, but 
it was really, yeah, terrifying and interesting and fascinating to be able to kind of take on a more creative role and think about not only how, okay, how do I listen in order to realize someone else's vision, but like, actually, how do I listen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and how do I as a person perceive all these things? And how is my experience something that can be shared or used in my own research? And um, yeah, so it really made me think a lot about my perspective as a person. Um, it made me think about myself kind of like you used the term earlier of a like sound artist and I feel really uncomfortable with that kind of terminology in a way because I'm like well I'm just making little things. Um, but I think that it is rare for a lot of performers of primarily classical music to frame our work as like artist work it's normally more like oh i'm interpreting the work of others or i have an artistic practice but i'm not like i don't consider myself to be like a creator of things so to kind of step into that role was really scary for me but really fruitful i feel like um yeah i learned a lot about myself and about how i how i operate <laughs> mm -hmm. what do you hope that the folks who visit the gallery next week take away from your um from your work? Oh, my. <laughs> um, I think, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I hope that they like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I think seriously, I feel like um, a lot of what my work is focused on, I think, is about setting up these situations or creating these little objects um, that sort of interrogate our listening habits um, and that hopefully make people think about how they listen and how they perceive sound in a different way. Um, so in this case, I guess one premise of the work um, is to kind of really reveal that these loudspeakers and that sound is a physical thing. Um, we're so used to electronic sound. It's everywhere in kind of our experience of the world, of the daily world. Loudspeakers are all over the place, like phones, crosswalks, etc. Um, and we're so used to ignoring the physicality of that kind of sound and just thinking, OK, that's the thing that transmits the actual sound to me. Um, and so a lot of this particular work and sort of the series that I'm kind of embedding this work in is about poking at that sort of physicality. So if you take a loudspeaker and you cover it with a bunch of fabric or a bunch of wool or a bunch of felt, um, then it sounds different. And then I hope that it makes people think about, um, OK, so then what is this? this mechanism like what is this object or this body that is making this sound and what were my previous assumptions about how sound kind of operates in the world that i live in yeah i think this plays into one of my favorite uh, interests which is just making normal things reminding you that they're actually weird right like just this idea yeah, that they're... loudspeakers are everywhere and that's weird you know <laughs> yeah i love that um yeah, I love that. I think it's the, yeah, making, yeah, or just that normal things are are incredible, like, and there's so much to discover and there's so much you can learn about yourself um, just by taking things that you're used to and putting them into a different context. Mm -hmm. So I think that that sort of like displacement and then what it can show us about like our habits or our bodies or um, or our modes of perception is super interesting to me. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if that's what people will take away from it, but um, that's what I'm interested in and that's what keeps me really interested in working with these things. And that's it for today. The three new pivot works will be exhibited at Sporable in Sherbrooke, Quebec from the 14th through to the 16th and will be documented online in the upcoming weeks. Pivot can't happen without your support. Find the link to donate in our video description.